CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by the Exogen Temporal Scanner. I'm Matt Piper in New York. The FDA and CDC have both authorized COVID-19 boosters for those 16 and up. Health reporter Sabrina Cupid. More teens would be eligible for the Pfizer booster shot, but will they be getting it? Lacey, a mother of three girls weighing in. At this moment, um, we kind of stand firm on not getting them vaccinated just because we don't have enough knowledge on the, you know, the after effects. Rob has a 16-year-old daughter who's vaccinated, and she'll be getting the booster as soon as she can. Just knowing that it's just one more thing that I... You know, obviously that I don't have to worry about with her being around, you know, a lot of other students and children her age that have not had the vaccine. Sabrina Cupid for CBS News Atlanta. A groundbreaking victory for some ground coffee makers. I'm Tom Fody. It is a first for the giant coffee chain. Workers at one Starbucks voting to unionize in Buffalo, New York by a better than two to one vote of 19 to 8. Ryan Mox works at another Buffalo Starbucks. The biggest thing about the union is giving us a voice. Our biggest issue is that a majority of the decisions that are made by the company are made by higher ups that have never stepped into um, any of these locations. Efforts are underway to unionize other Starbucks stores, too. This authorization vote will take about a week to get federal government certification by the National Labor Relations Board. President Biden appealed for unity in the country as he spoke at a memorial service at the U.S. Capitol for the late Republican Senate leader and presidential candidate Bob Dole. Standing in the Capitol rotunda, the president eulogized his friend by referring to Bob Dole as a great patriot who put country before party. Mr. Biden urged Americans to follow Dole's example. The truth of the matter is, as divided as we are, the only way forward for democracy is unity. Consensus, the only way. The president, who served alongside Dole in the Senate for two decades, said he genuinely respected the man who was the opposing party's leader. It was real. It wasn't fake. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, Washington. To Oklahoma, where the state has executed Bigler Stouffer. It's for the 1985 shooting death of an Oklahoma City area school teacher. Courts rejected his claim that the state's injection method would result in unconstitutional pain and suffering. Rodney Thompson was the victim's cousin. Although long in coming, justice has prevailed. Up to four feet of snow is expected in some places out west like Utah. In western Washington, a winter weather advisory is in effect. Ryan Darnell says he gets frustrated at those unprepared for mountain drives or accidents and wipeouts become commonplace. They all drive up there with no chains or no snow tires and no all-wheel drive or no four-wheel drive, and they're just not prepared for the snow. At the close, the Dow gained a fraction and the Nasdaq lost 270. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that. Hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.